This man right here is broke. He's broke. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I'm gonna take you back home. Oh. I'm gonna take you back home where you was. You up. wanna take me home? Yeah, I'm gonna take you home. I look like this you in your car right now, and you want to take me home. You sure about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you can you can get any other day, right? Just like you said, you can get any dude to come and pay for your meal and take you out and wind down you, right? You can you can get that at any so, time, right? So now we're not going on the date because you don't want to pay more than Starbucks. Oh, it's not bad. See, the money's no option. So if money's no option, then why aren't we going on the date? <clears throat> like an actual date. Because one, you try to put me on blast, like you got your phone out filming this inter interaction right now. Okay, For because what reason? I thought I was getting pranked at this point. Like it feels like it's not real because I've never had a grown man take me to Starbucks for a date. What is this, grown, high school? You never had a grown man in general because, uh, you know, you acting really unappreciative. Like you expect me to take Are you to a five star restaurant right out the gate. You know what? I'm going to do you one better. I'm not even going to take you home. What? Any any dude can come and get you and take you out, right? Okay, cool. Let me go, let me go ahead and make sure that's the case. Um, pull over right Are here. you serious? Right? Yep, You're go ahead and get out. Serious. Are you? Go ahead and get out. <laughs> you know what? Yep. Whatever. Go back on your profile. Ask one of them dudes to pick you up. Take you out. You want to know the most masculine thing about how he handled that situation? Was it how he called her out for putting him on blast? Shaming him on social media for taking her out to coffee on their first date? Was it how he called her out for being ridiculous for expecting a five-star restaurant for their first date and labeling that as unappreciative? No, it's neither of those things because those were just words. And you know what's more masculine than words? Actions. This guy's actions were perfect, very masculine. She starts with all her nonsense, like calling him broke, filming him for social media. And what does he do? Does he start arguing with her? Like, oh, why are you so entitled? Be nicer to me. This isn't fair. Or worse, does he start explaining himself? Like, no, 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 I I'm not broke. I I'm so sorry. I I'll take you wherever you want to go. No, he puts on his seatbelt. He just starts reversing and he's going to take her home. Her reaction is one of utter disbelief. I look like this and you're going to take me home? Priceless. Gentlemen, remember this. When it comes to your interactions with women, she will be listening not to your words, but to your actions. Let me tell you something that you've probably already figured out is that with a lot of women, it is simply impossible to win an argument. Observe. Babe, what do you call a wife that's never in the mood? Me, I guess. <laughs> that's why you're asking me. That's probably what you mean. No. Okay, what? An ex-wife. Do you think, are you trying to threaten me? No. I'm Have you ever thought maybe why I'm not in the mood? Then why aren't you in the mood? Maybe it's stuff that you do that's not getting, like, you gotta heat the oven, preheat the oven. What does that even mean? You gotta do your stretches and your, before you just start running. So I'm the problem? Well, you're, you're part of the problem, yeah. I won't put the entire blame on you, but, so, you know, so, some of us aren't ready to go. We're like a lawnmower. You got to you gotta get it, it going. Sense, wouldn't it make sense for you to preheat the oven? No. If you're going to cook something, wouldn't you preheat the oven? I, wa I wasn't the No, you're pissing me I off. I wasn't the hungry one. That was you. You're the one who's hungry. You're never hungry. And you're always hungry. So that's what I'm saying. You got to find the happy medium. There's no happy nothing right now. I don't know. I feel bad for laughing, but that was just the stupidest conversation. They're both so hopeless. The way that he handled that was completely pathetic and feminine. I'm going to explain in a moment the masculine way that you're meant to handle a conversation like that. But before we get to him, did you notice how willing and ready she was to escalate that into an argument? The sad truth is that lots of women, not all, but... Lots, they actually enjoy arguing. At a very basic level, a lot of women relish the drama. They welcome the chaos. That's where they feel comfortable. The sort of utopian vision of life that a lot of men have that's very empty, very spacious, very still, no drama. It's just got like a lot of peace. Just sitting by some quiet mountain stream. That might be a man's idea of heaven, but that sounds like hell to a lot of women. She wants excitement. She wants 
passion. She wants conflict. And she's actively looking for opportunities to create arguments because that feeds her need for drama. And that is especially true if, like so many modern women, she is actively contributing to an internal sense of her own victimhood. That's her story. And like a hungry pet, she needs to feed it constantly. She's always looking for evidence to support that internal narrative that she is a victim. She relishes her identity as a woman, a victim of the toxic patriarchy, suffering under all this toxic masculinity. It's like a psychological loaded gun that lives inside her psyche. And when an opportunity presents itself for a gunfight, she's ready to go. This is difficult for men to understand because we don't crave arguments in the same way. We just want peace. But many women are just wired differently. They feel comfortable in that domain. And by dragging you into that territory, that gives them the opportunity to work their dark magic. For a woman who's actively looking for an argument, the first goal that she will have is to avoid responsibility. The argument may have started because of something wrong that she did. But the longer that the argument goes on, the greater her opportunity to bring up a whole host of other issues. This is what she wants, to muddy the waters. The first few minutes of the conversation might be about why she was late to the event. You know, she's on the back foot, but I guarantee if the argument goes on longer than 10 minutes, pretty soon the content of the argument is going to shift. It's going to be from her like, well, why are you bringing up this now? Or you could have talked to me about this in a different way. Your tone is awful. You're being very judgmental. Give it long enough and soon you're talking about things that you did wrong three years ago. Or you're talking about chore distribution or how you never take her on dates anymore or some other completely unrelated issue. Do you understand that this is not an accident? It's not just random chance that this occurs. She likes the dynamic of an argument, of a conflict, because it gives her a chance to distract you from what you're meant to be talking about to get into territory that she's more comfortable. She wants to avoid responsibility and the longer that she keeps you in an argument, the greater her chance of doing that. And all of this is leading up to the biggest prize of all, which is convincing you that it's all your fault. Why? Why can't I have that half? Okay, here. But why did you want to give me that to begin with? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's but literally why, the same sandwich cut in half. But why didn't you want to give me that one first? I don't care which one you want. Here, you want this one? Take it. No, I want that one now. Blaze! What one do you want now? It's the same fucking feeling. Never mind, I don't want anything. I mean, it's such a fucking disaster. The ultimate prize for a toxic woman who does not want to take responsibility for her own behavior is to make the man feel like he is in the wrong, that he is at fault, that he is to blame. She wants to magically turn things around so that he ends up apologizing to her. Brilliant. And do you understand the longer that you argue, that you get dragged into an argument with her, the greater her opportunity to work that magic, to flip things around? I had a guy in a private consultation tell me that he would start conversations really angry with his girlfriend, calling her out on broken promises from her. But you know, two hours later, they're still arguing and he's apologizing for this and apologizing apologizing for that and he's thinking how did this happen it's not an accident it was her goal all along to make you feel like you were in the wrong do not be complacent about this stuff men are better at this domain talking arguing assigning blame navigating all of these emotions allocating fault a toxic woman is going to be infinitely more skilled at navigating that dynamic than some naive man is she's gonna run absolute circles around him she's well practiced which is why when it comes to conflict with women, you need to speak with your actions, not with your words. This guy with the dead bedroom, this guy with the sandwich, they need to be more like this guy dropping this girl home. Nope, you stepped over the line. Here are the consequences. I'm taking action. It is not masculine to bitch and whine and complain and argue. It's too many words. Men, you need to know your bottom line. What are your boundaries? What are your standards? And most importantly, what are you going to do if a line gets crossed? Because let me tell you this as an absolute fact, if you don't know what your bottom line is, and it's not clear what the consequences are going to be for the woman who crosses them, then she will not respect you. Watch this clip of this guy who talks a big game, he sounds masculine, but has taken zero action to back up his words. And you'll see there's zero respect coming from the woman towards him. Boyfriends, though. <laughs> 
Wait, wait, ex-boyfriend? Yep. She calls us friends, but I don't consider us friends. What do you guys consider each other? Technically still figuring it out, but I'm the one she calls when she needs to cry. I've tried. It's a work in progress. It's one, so is everything. It's one work in progress. So you guys are just trying to work on things? See how it goes. I'm trying to work on things. <laughs> if he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah. Uh, on who? Uh, Zach Efron, Josh Bowman, some celebrity, hot celebrity. You turn that down? Mm -mm. Couldn't do it. This guy, he's all words and no action. She calls them friends. She isn't working on it. She isn't trying. She'll talk about sleeping with other men in front of him. The disrespect is off the charts, but still, he shows up for her. She calls him when she needs to cry and he's there for her. She has no respect for him because it's all words. There's no action. Man, you've got to become comfortable saying things like, I am really disappointed in you and then walking away. No explaining, no justifying, no arguing, just stating a fact about how you feel and then leaving. Whether or not she is convinced that she's done something wrong is irrelevant. One of the guys in one of my hero circles could never walk away from an argument with his girlfriend because he was desperate to try and get her to admit that she was wrong. He couldn't let it go and he kept staying in the argument trying to convince her. As a group, we helped him realize how codependent that is, to need that validation from her. If your girlfriend crosses the line with her behavior, you don't need her to confirm that, to agree. Trust your own judgment. No, I had a boundary, you violated it. She made her choice, now you need to make yours. The Hero Circle, by the way, is a weekly men's discussion group I run. If you want to join, click on the link below. But every single man needs to know what his bottom line is what are you going to tolerate and what will you not because women can smell a man who's all talk who might say a lot of words but doesn't really have standards or boundaries who isn't calibrated who can't back up his words with actual actions if you're kicking and screaming and arguing with her all the time but deep down she knows that you're never going to leave her then she's going to ignore you she's not going to have any respect because your words are not backed with action. Women respect action. That's what they notice. Now, I'm not saying never talk or have a conversation with your girlfriend or wife. Part of being an adult in a relationship is learning how to communicate, to talk things through. What I am saying is that what makes your words as a man strong and potent is that behind them, they are backed with action. If you're all talk, then your words are just empty. You're just shooting blanks. And if you're entering into the territory of just arbitrary words being being argued around in circles, you're going to lose because women are more comfortable in that domain. It's a generalization, no doubt, but women are just better at that interpersonal conversation stuff. Very rare is the man who's going to be able to outplay her in that realm. As a man, your ace card is action. Do not be afraid to use it. Every man has to learn the art of walking away. Not permanently. I'm talking about taking 10 minutes, taking an hour, taking a day, a week. You have to be comfortable leaving. No man should enter into a conversation with a woman with the mindset of, I have to stay here and keep talking until this is resolved. That's just shedding your armor before a sword fight. So why is it important that you learn to walk away in the middle of an argument? And what are the practical steps for how to do that? I answer that in the full length version of this video, which is available on Patreon. If you want to keep this conversation going, come over to Patreon. That's where I post the more in-depth stuff. On YouTube, the videos are a bit more surface level, you know, appeal to the algorithm. If you really want to sink your teeth into this stuff, come join me on Patreon.